Since the very birth of the internet, Easter eggs have been at the heart of our everyday experience, and Google has been a prominent cultivator of secrets and hidden extras. There are hundreds of Easter eggs in Google products and services, but here are a few of our favorites in search that we think you need to know. Before I dive in though, most of these work on desktop and mobile, but you will see a little icon like on screen to indicate if it's desktop only throughout this video. Enough talk, let's get into it. How many times do you want to do DIY or want to check if something is horizontal or level and don't have access to a spirit or bubble level? Well, I can't personally say it's hundreds of times, but you can just search for bubble level on your smartphone and using the gyroscope on your device, you'll get access to a handy tool right there in your search results to check if things are level in your surroundings. One of the classic Easter eggs in Google search that you likely may have heard of but haven't tried for yourself originates from the N64 game Star Fox 64. What you need to do is just enter do a barrel roll and you'll get this simple joy of seeing that search results page spin in similar to just how you would in that 3D game. Sadly though, neither is technically a barrel roll as this is what's called an aileron roll. I think that's how you pronounce it. But either way, it's still a really cool trick to do in Google search. We're combining these two Google Easter eggs into one as they're very similar and can possibly be used in tandem. In the cashless age of mobile and wireless payments, flipping a coin is not exactly easy if you don't carry any cash. Just hit flip a coin into Google search and you'll get a coin flipped for you. Heads or tails, it'll give you the answer. If you're an avid board game or D&D player, for instance, you can even roll a die or dice simply by entering roll a dice or roll a die. This is perfect if you're traveling and lack the space to actually throw an object or dice around. You can choose from different dice types from four sided right up to 20 sided. On top of that, you can roll just about as many as you like by tapping the icon multiple times. The total value is even displayed to make game night an absolute breeze. So budding and even experienced musicians might benefit from ready access to a metronome and you can adjust this from 40 to 280 BPM. It isn't exactly a useful tool or essential to many people, but it might prove necessary if you're practicing or just messing around with cool things on Google. Just search metronome on desktop or mobile and you'll be able to customize that to your heart's content. You might have searched for Super Mario Bros. before, but did you know that on desktop and mobile, there is a neat Easter egg that lets you interact with the classic question mark blocks within the knowledge graph panel. Tapping these just shows the iconic 200 points and plays a coin sound ping. If you whack this up to 100 times, you'll even get that Super Mario's one up sound played. This might be temporary one though, to celebrate the launch of the recent Super Mario Bros movie, which has been released, but for, until then, it's a really nice touch for avid and classic gamers out there. One of the enduring symbols of Japan is the cherry blossom tree, and you'll see the iconic pink petals adorning gardens and parks all over the world. Google has added a gorgeous Easter egg that lets you experience the wispy falling of petals by searching for Sakura or cherry blossom and tapping the flower in the knowledge panel. The search page itself will then be showered in pink petals floating off towards the bottom of your screen. And what could be more zen than that? I guess this is a very tenuous Easter egg, but one for hardcore fans of The Simpsons. But when you search for steamed hams, Google will suggest you might be searching for steamed clams. For anyone unaware or aware of the classic 22 short films about Springfield, in this episode, Seymour Skinner has promised the dish to Superintendent Chalmers, but instead attempts to cover up his cooking area or error by passing off hamburgers from Krusty Burger as his own. He refers to these as steam, steamed hams. It's long-winded, but it's a nice touch for true fans of The Simpsons when you see this for the first time. Google has some truly deep Easter eggs and one that even includes a 1960s black and white movie about a butler struggling to help host a 90th birthday dinner party. If you search for dinner for one, you'll spot a black and white target in the knowledge panel. Tap this and you'll be treated to a brief recreation of one of the scenes from dinner for one where the butler trips over a tiger skin rug and then comes back and jumps over that tiger skin rug with a bowl of soup in his hand. So fans of The Mandalorian will also love this Easter egg as when you search for Grogu, the child, Baby Yoda, or even The Mandalorian, on desktop you will see the young Jedi appear in the bottom right of his screen, tapping the green toddler and he'll use the force to throw around search results, making a big mess. 
Originally released to celebrate Google's 19th birthday, you can take advantage of this Easter egg at any time by searching for Google Birthday Surprise Spinner and have fun with it by playing some of the best Google Doodle games of the past 20 years. Of course, the twist here is that you can land on one of the 19 games, all of them playable. It's a great way to pass a little bit of time with some really unique games that you may have missed just to take advantage of. Another well-known classic Easter egg is the ability to play Pac-Man right from Google search. A Google Doodle was released way back in 2010 to celebrate the 30th anniversary of this arcade classic. So what you need to do is just search for Pac-Man and it will give you the ability to play a unique version of the game that has you navigating the Google Lodo logo to avoid chasing ghosts and getting power ups. Another little Easter egg though is the ability to add in Mrs. Pac-Man by hitting the insert coin button when it appears. It's hard to believe that just how different the internet was way back when Google officially launched back in 1998. To get a taste of just how it felt for those of us around at the time, then search for Google in 1998. Sadly, this is only an appetizer as the front page of search will show the original logo complete with an exclamation point and that wacky drop shadow icon. Clicking links just takes you to the Wayback Machine for those specific pages, but I think it's a neat little Easter egg giving us a glimpse of Google's origins. So companies and brands change with time as we've just noted and Google is of course no exception. You've, if you've ever wanted to see the visual history of the Big G logo, then hit Google logo history into the search bar and you'll get an animated slideshow of seven of the logos that have made one of the world's biggest internet companies from 1998 to 2015, at least more prominent. Space may be the final frontier, but debris from our solar system can hit your search page if you search for Meteor or Meteorite. After searching for either of those options, an asteroid will shoot across your screen before crashing into the bottom corner and shaking the entire results page. Luckily, no impact crater is left behind. Holi is often known as the Festival of Colour and is a Hindu celebration held around the start of spring in India and a few other countries around the globe. You might know it as that time of year that people throw coloured or powdered paint and water over each other. A quick search for Holi though in search lets you take part and throw paint all over your search results page. Just tap the little triangular paint trays to get started and then hit the water icon to wash your page off and get on with searching. That's 15 of our favourite Google search Easter eggs, but it's only just scratching the surface as there are potentially hundreds if not thousands that you may uh, in fact know yourself. If you'd like to see more, let us know down in the comment sections below and be sure to tell us your personal favourites. Hopefully though, this has been a little bit different from our regular content. Until next time though, this is Damien with 95Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.